Hi guys, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatorius. So, um, you may have noticed I haven't uploaded any videos for a few days, and you may also notice that my voice sounds a bit strange. They are two related facts. I've been absolutely wiped out by uh, a flu-like thing uh, with tonsillitis and all kinds of nasty stuff in the last week. Um, and I actually lost my voice uh, for, for about three days. So, hence, I wasn't able to shoot any videos because I couldn't talk. So please excuse my strange voice, it's slowly getting back to uh, my normal voice, but it sounds like I'm a bit bunged up I imagine. Um, so, what I'm going to talk about very briefly in this video is a way to get back into the swing of things and uh, get back into making some videos and getting them online, is um, while I've been offline, as it were, I picked up another Albion Longsword. This is... Um, it's difficult to explain what it is. It's similar to the Albion Mercenary. It is actually based on the uh, Squireline Bastard Sword. However, it's had a custom grip put on it. And really, the only big difference between the Squireline Bastard Sword and the Albion Mercenary is the fact that the uh, Squireline version has a more simple grip. So this is actually pretty close to the Mercenary, and it's been sharpened. Um, so it's pretty close to the Abbey Mercenary, same stats and so on and so forth. Um, and a lot of you will know from my videos, you'll be familiar already with the lower sword, which is the Albion Ringek. Now as you'll see, these are quite similar looking swords. And so the purpose of this video really is just to point out that just because two swords, in this case, it could be other weapons, but just because two swords look the same or very, very similar, doesn't mean that they behave the same at all. And in actual fact, the mercenary is a very different weapon in the hand to the ringek. Now obviously in the grand scheme of things, they're more similar to each other than either one of these is with a basket hilt broadsword or a viking sword or a falchion. Yes, they are broadly speaking similar swords. However, and they both obviously share type 18 blades, that is they start off broad at the base and then taper to points. Um, if I just put one of the swords down. Um, but actually in the hand, they're really quite different swords. For a start, the Albion Mercenary is, is a bit lighter. It's not a huge amount lighter, but that lightness really changes what you can do with it. It's a much more uh, wieldable sword in one hand. You could use this as an arming sword. You could use it easily one-handed from horseback. You could use it with a buckler. The Albion Ringek, that's not really true of. It would be quite unwieldy as a one-handed sword. I've also previously owned the Albion um, Cressy, and the Cressy is almost halfway between these two swords, but equally, that's not really very wieldable as a one-handed sword. You can use it one-handed, but it's a little bit, little bit on the weighty side. It's got a little bit too much blade presence for, for a efficiently usable arming sword. You couldn't happily use it with a buckler, for example. You could probably get away with using it with a shield, um, but by itself as a one-hand sword, it would be very slow and sluggish. And someone with a lighter one-handed sword that can move a bit more nimbly would dominate you with using the Albion Cressy in general. Obviously some people are stronger um, and so on, but generally speaking, I mean, I'm, I'm not weak and I'm fairly used to using swords. And the Albion Ringek and the Albion Cressy do not make good one-handed swords. One-handed swords are better. However, the Albion Mercenary is almost like an arming sword with a long handle. And this is where we get to the difference between a long sword and a bastard sword in my mind. Now, I, as I've um, mentioned in previous videos, in terms of the actual etymology, in terms of the words, a long sword for us is a modern term that we use for a hand and a half sword. Historically the term long sword was used, however usually they were just called sword um, and the term bastard sword was used and uh, the term obviously two-handed sword was used, but a two-handed sword could mean a long sword or it could mean a massive great Zweihander. Okay, so, so it's kind of not very helpful actually using the historical um, language for describing the different types of swords. But I would, generally speaking, describe this more as a bastard sword because, like I say, it's more like an arming sword with a long hilt on it. Um, whereas the true long sword 
really is a two-handed sword that you can just about use in one hand at a stretch if you need to. Um, so they're really very different beasts and actually if you just look at the stats on paper, if you look at the length of the blades, the ring eck is only about two inches longer in the blade. The hilts, again the ring eck is about an inch longer, if that. Um, the cross guards are very similar, the grips are a similar length but obviously the ring X very slightly longer. Interestingly the uh, mercenary um, above actually has a slightly wider blade and if we look at the centre of percussions the uh, mercenary actually has a slightly broader blade than the ring X so despite the fact the ring X is heavier and longer the mercenary is well known as a good cutter and one of the reasons for that is it has that slightly broader blade here up at the centre of percussion. Um, and it really is just to reiterate once more, it is a very different sword in the hand and how I move around and drill with one of these feels very different to me doing it with the other sword. So, don't assume two weapons or swords in this case that look pretty much the same, don't assume that they actually are the same in use. They can be drastically different just based on small factors like where their point of balance is or um, you know, a, a few ounces heavier, it really makes a big difference. There we go guys, talk to you soon, bye.